Blam, 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 blam. Blam, 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 blam. Hey, what's up guys? So today's video, I'm just gonna do my October favorites, show you guys some stuff that I've been liking in October. And yeah, I'm not gonna do some long detailed intro. Let's just get on into it so you can see the stuff that I liked. Okay. Okay, so starting off, um, it's two nail polishes. I just stumbled across this at the drugstore, actually. Um, these are by Sally Hansen. They're called the Miracle Gel um, line. They are the No Light Gel Nail Polishes. Basically, you are supposed to get the finish of a gel polish without having to put it under a light. So, yeah, I figured why not give it a try. They are um, a little pricier than a nail polish, obviously. So in Canada, they are $12.99. Um, but I figured it was worth the risk just to see if it worked really well. So I got the darkest shade that they had, and this is called Wine Stock, which is pretty much my favorite kind of nail polish in general, like a dark cranberry color. And if you add two coats, it has that dark reddish color. And if you add a third coat, it makes it more of like closer to a dark black. I have it on my nails right now. Um, and I have had it on my nails for quite some time, over a week, and it doesn't actually chip off. You get a little chips uh, towards the end of the nail, so I would recommend pa painting over the ends of the nail. But besides that, I've had no like regular like big chips like I would with my normal nail polish. So yeah, and that the girl at the counter told me that the reason why was because of this top coat. Apparently, this is supposed to be an amazing top coat. So I was kind of questioning whether I should try it just with other nail polish and see if it's really the top coat. That is the thing that makes the <laughs> just to see if it's the top coat that works really well. So yeah, so it may not be that you need to actually buy the nail polish, it may just be that you need the top coat, but I will experiment and let you guys know. But either way, I was really happy with the color and the combo of these two, so I've basically had this on my nails pretty much all of October, and I have a feeling it's going to be on my nails for a lot of the fall season and winter season. So yeah, that's like my all-time favorite. thing that I would say secondly is this amazing perfume. Now I'm not a person who's like super into perfume. I don't spend a lot of money on perfumes. I usually have like, I have like body sprays right now um, from Bath and Body Works and honestly the only reason I have those is because I got them for Christmas last year um, from some of my friends. I, I don't really shop at Bath and Body Works. I don't really um, buy like a lot of candles and a lot of perfumes and stuff not that i don't like their candles don't get me wrong i just i don't know why i just don't tend to buy those things when i go to the mall so when i saw this perfume i saw it actually at our shoppers like our local shoppers drug mart and like the room just smelled like it and i was like what's that smell when i walked in and they showed me to this perfume and then when I smelled it, I was like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like me, like that's what I would want me to smell like, which I don't normally get that vibe from a lot of perfumes. So yeah, and then I was even more shocked when I realized who the perfume is by and it's actually Taylor Swift's new perfume. It's called Incredible Things what the bottle looks like um i actually really like the packaging it's really cute um yeah but it's kind of weird kind of i think that's like her face outlined on that which i mean hey whatever but it wasn't really about the person don't get me wrong like some of her songs are really catchy and stuff but i wouldn't say i'm like crazy obsessed with taylor swift so i need her perfume or whatever but honestly guys it smells so good like so good like i don't even know how to describe it but if you can go check this out and spray it on yourself and walk around for the day because that's literally what i did i didn't buy it the first day that i smelt it and saw it so i walked around with it on and i was like no i love this stuff and i ended up going back a couple days later and picking it up and yeah i've been wearing it ever since it's um yeah it's awesome so that's my two cents on perfume 
So the couple makeup things that I have, um, I'll just quickly go into the couple face things that I have before my makeup. Um, one thing is, I'm sure you guys, a lot of people use these, but this month I've kind of gotten back into them. I saw on uh, Lauren DIY, one of her videos, she talked about these Biore nose strips, and I was like, oh my god, I used to use those so much, why did I stop using them? And after she kind of raved about them, I was like, yeah, I should probably get back into that. So I picked them up, and these are the deep cleansing pore strips, but... Um, these ones also come with like face strips, so I thought that would be kind of cool because I tend to get a lot of blackheads and gunk in my chin, so I'm going to try those out for my chin. I have only used the nose one so far, but um, yeah, I love these. So yeah, and then the other face product that I got, I needed a new moisturizer. Um, I usually use the Cetaphil moisturizer and then I switched over to Clinique, the one for dry skin and their like three-step system. and. I don't know like I didn't really like it like it was really making my skin very shiny and I still felt like it wasn't super moisturized so I switched back to Neutrogena which is usually which is usually the skin products that I like and that I use are Neutrogena so when I saw this one and I think this one was on sale too it was like $15 I want to say um, this is the moisture oil free uh, sensitive skin moisturizer and I have super sensitive skin so when anything says sensitive skin, I'm usually drawn to it. And because it's oil-free, it says it is lightweight, non-greasy, water-based lotion, um, effectively reduces dry skin without leaving skin greasy or shiny. It's hypoallergenic, fragrance-free, and alcohol-free, which is awesome because that's really what dries out your skin. And yeah, so I've been using that, and I find my skin has now started to kind of get back to what it was before, not super dried out, but not like greasy either. So I actually really like this moisturizer, and I would definitely recommend it. Okay, and so my last couple of things are my makeup products and then I have like one or like two fashion items but we'll see how long this video gets and end up being oh I only have a couple items and then this ends up being a super long video so let me just tell you about the makeup things um this is the smash smashbox full exposure um makeup palette um it's shimmers and mattes and I got this from Sephora a while ago and one of my hauls, I'll link it below in case you guys haven't checked it out. I showed this and I've been using it quite a bit. This is definitely my favorite color here. They are super shiny, super pigmented. Okay, so my camera died, so I don't know if it's the same lighting, same angle, whatever, so just bear with me. Um, I'm not exactly sure where I left off. I think I was talking about my Smashbox palette, but all in all, I just it's amazing pigmentation. They blend out really well. There's um, minimal fallout, and yeah, I'm really just happy with this palette. You can do a lot of different fall neutrally looks. I love how there, there's the how there there's how there's the four shimmer and the four matte. It's just um, perfect for fall. So yeah, and I got this like in the line um, walking up. Uh, to pay in Sephora. I wasn't planning on getting this and yeah, it worked out. So I always get sucked in by that line. I swear to God, I always buy things from there. Um, another thing I bought, which was the Real, the Benefit Mascara, which I have a full size of and I'm going to go get another full size because you know when you use a product and you're like, I really liked it. I remember I liked it, but you haven't used it in a while and you're like, did I like it that much? Or like enough to spend $30 on a mascara, I'm not sure. But yeah, this is such an amazing mascara. Like it just works so well. Your lashes are so big and full and long. Um, the only negative is it is really hard to get off and I find that sometimes I lose lashes, lashes fall out, um, yeah, just because of the formulation, but um, it's really, really hard to top this mascara, so. I keep going back to it even though I lose lashes when I use it, but the lashes I do have look amazing. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this. And then my last makeup product that I have been loving this month is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. 
Um, this is the concealer in medium, 470 medium. And honestly, I really love the applicator and the coloring and it's a very light, sheer um, coverage because I've been using this for just under my eyes. I'm trying to do very minimal, minimal makeup on my face now, um, just allowing my natural skin to kind of shine through, uh, blemishes and imperfections and all, just getting used to kind of seeing my skin as it is. I actually saw a video by Zoella um, where uh, I'll link it below to where she talked about not that your skin doesn't define you so I thought that that was really amazing and that she goes on camera and vlogs and there's so many of you guys out there that vlog with no makeup on and I realized that sometimes I was making a much bigger deal out of my insecurities and imperfections and really needed to be made and it just makes things so much harder on yourself when you're the one being like oh this looks terrible like I look terrible if I don't wear makeup I can't be on camera so you know when I go to work and I'm in the mood to jazz up my eyes a little bit more then I use this under my eyes and today like I'm wearing um, eyeliner and or not even eyeliner, I used the eyeshadow from that palette and just smudged it out and my Benefit The Real Mascara, put on a lip and you're pretty much good to go. So I've kind of been doing away with the whole blush, um, bronzer and foundation stuff and I find that I'm just like getting used to it. I have pale skin so, so I'm pale, that's just how it is. So just getting more used to being in my own skin and yeah, I think that Using a concealer like this is a really great way of having, um, just brightening the under eyes a little, but not covering and hiding your face or hiding, you know, if you have a little bit of dark circles or anything under your eyes. Um, and I also use it as a primer underneath or on top of my lids. Uh, so I tend to use just like a beige eyeshadow from Too Faced right now from my chocolate bar palette and it's like the vanilla shade, the vanilla chocolate and I use that all over my lid and in my crease and just kind of um, give yourself like a blank canvas, put on my mascara most days and I'm good to go. So yeah, I have been a big fan of this. I did used to use it on my face when I was covering up blemishes and whatnot um, just because it is a water based instead of oil based so it's definitely better for your face but uh, this does have a bit of a pink undertone and my skin has a bit of a yellow undertone so it's not as perfect match for me but definitely I would recommend this for sure. All right, so I guess that's really all my makeup products around my face stuff and my uh, perfume like things I've just been using continuously over and over. I just wanted to show you two like fashion things because I think in the month of October I wore these a lot. So this is the shirt I wore and it's funny because I'm wearing a striped shirt. My walls in my apartment now are striped and this is a striped shirt and I didn't plan on that. I literally was like oh what shirt have I been wearing a lot? I should grab from my closet and this is what I picked up and I forgot that I was in a striped shirt. So yeah, clearly I like stripes. I'm a huge fan of black and white. I seriously, I don't know, I just love the way the classic just looks like black and white and creams. I wear my black jeans ridiculous amounts, like ridiculous amounts and everything just goes with black and it just looks so cute and classic and yeah. So when I saw this, I actually got this from Forever 21 and yeah, it's basically just a uh, black and white striped shirt. You can wear it open and wear like a little tank underneath or I just wear it like buttoned up, just lower down. And I really like the little detail. The buttons are like these charcoal silver matte buttons and yeah, you can wear it with the long sleeves or I tend to roll them up uh, to a three quarter length, but it's awesome for like tucking into high waisted jeans or just tucking in the front and letting the back kind of hang loose. So yeah, I love the shirt. And actually I have been pairing it with my second favorite, which is this um, leather jacket. And this is also from Forever 21. I got this um, probably in the end of August, uh, beginning of September. So I got a really good deal on it. I'm not sure. Oh, I think I showed this in my haul video too. And yeah, clearly I'm obsessed with it because I'm showing it again. And it's just this 
Like it's kind of like that motorcycle jacket kind of trend where it kind of opens up, has the buttons and then you can zip it up there. It's really comfortable, it's really soft like faux leather. I love the coloring, I wear my cranberry like fake docks all the time so um, even though they're not an exact match, they work really well together and because I do wear a lot of black and white having a bit of like the pop of color like so, I really like how it looks. So yeah, and I guess that's it. That's pretty much the things that I've been loving for October and yeah, I guess that's it guys. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you guys will go and try out some of these products if you haven't seen them yet. And if you have tried them out, um, I'd love to hear your feedback down below. Especially on like the nail polishes because the Sally Hansen just came out with those and I wanted to see if any of you guys really liked the other colors as well. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video and bye guys. <laughs>